Hello guys, today I want to present you a new feature in our Quick Admin Panel Vue.js version and it is translations. And I want to show you how it works, so even for those of you who are not customers of Quick Admin Panel, it's just a discussion how to implement multi-languages in Vue.js project with Laravel. So the results generated panel, if you log in as administrator user, you see the dashboard and here you can choose languages and then immediately the translations are replaced with whatever language you choose without refreshing, without calling the API for translations. And how to generate that with Quick Admin Panel? You just choose new project, choose Vue.js, choose your language. For example, let's choose Spanish languages. So you generate the panel. And while the code is generated, you can also select multi-languages. So in settings, there's the main language, primary language, but you can choose more like English, German, French, or whatever. You update, and then the generated code will contain that top right corner icon to change the language and choose the language. Important notice, we are not the ones who are actually translating into all languages. Any user of our Quick Admin Panel in settings can go to Manage Translations and translate their own language. Then we save those translations in our database and will apply to all admin panels of that language. Now, how does it look in the code? To put translations into Vue.js project, we use this library, Vue i18n. And simple example of using that, it's inside of documentation. Basically, you get this syntax to put out any text, and your text should be inside of messages divided by locales or languages. And then you create a new object of that view i18n and pass that to the view instance. In our case, it's a bit more complicated. So in the actual Vue.js components, for example, for index view, we do have those translations, but if we look at the main app.js, we import i18n and create that locale, but the actual translations come from the store. So in the store, we use Vuex, and in the store, we have modules i18n, which actually gets all the translations from the API, from the backend. So with Axios, get there is locales languages, then messages, and everything is stored in Vuex. And from the API point of view, we have these two URLs, API endpoints, so get all languages and get all the messages. So we just do that once from the server, and then it is stored in Vuex locally. And those methods in controller, they just return languages from the config we generate. In the messages, we return them not from the database, so the actual translations are in the same Laravel files, resources, lang here. So we return them from the API and again store locally in Vuex. So as an experiment, let's transform something. For example, index view, it has global blade and then CRUD's user title. And if we open that page in German, I can see that table is not translated from global table. So let's go to global in German, global PHP, find table like this. And it's not translated because no one from our community translated that. Let's go to Google Translate. I already done that. And let's copy and paste tabella, the tabel, probably. So something like that. So we just save in resources lang the global PHP, and then we can refresh the page. And as you can see, it comes with the new translations. So if you want to translate or add translations or customize them after download, all you need to do is work with resources lang as in typical Laravel project. So that feature is available in Quick Admin Panel. If you create a new project in Vue.js, it will already have translations. And Vue.js version of the panel of the generator is available only in yearly plan for Quick Admin Panel, which costs, let's click on pricing, it costs $99 per year. And that includes Vue generator version and also free Laravel daily courses which is currently 12 courses. I recently launched a new course on Livewire, so that is included in that price. But if you want to use Vue.js translations without Quick Admin Panel for free, this is your package, this is your library, and this is the most simple way how you can use that. That's it for this video. See you guys in other videos.